In this video I'll be showing you how to replace a 12 volt battery on an electric toy jeep saving you money and the new battery will actually last longer compared to the original battery. I'll also be telling you why you should avoid installing a battery that has a higher voltage. Here I am removing the battery holder which is no longer needed. The old battery is completely dead and only measures 9.29 volts. I shopped around and found this new 12 volt sealed lead acid battery which cost me $33 and I made sure that it would fit inside the battery compartment. It has an amp hours rating of 12 whereas the original was only 9.5 amp hours. And the original was totally overpriced, brand new, around $90, well at least where I live. The new battery should last 20% longer compared to the original one because of the higher amp hour rating. You should avoid using higher voltage batteries like 18, 24 and 48 volts as they will overheat the 12 volt motors causing them to burn out early and that will be an expensive fix. Also many people say power tool batteries are a good alternative but they have low amp hours with the majority only having 2 to 4 amp hours which means they will run dry really fast and additionally the majority have the incorrect voltage. I wanted to salvage the original battery connector so here I am using a flathead screwdriver and a hammer to remove the battery lid gently releasing the plastic connections and finally prising off the lid. Next I remove the connector by prising it out and then cut the positive and negative cables trying to preserve as much cable as possible. Here is the safety relay or fuse. It's difficult to remove so I'll be replacing it with a new one. Now I'm stripping the sheathing on the ends to expose the copper wires. You have to connect the positive cable to an inline fuse holder which will have a 30 amp protection fuse to stop the battery or the motors overloading in the unlikely event a short circuit should occur. I decided to inline twist the copper cables then solder the joints and finally insulate the joints with electrical heat shrinking tube. Alternatively you can just use an inline butt connector and crimp the cables. Now I need to crimp connect the two battery terminal connectors, one positive and one negative. Now to connect the battery up positive to positive and negative to negative. Then to connect the battery charger and plug it into the wall. As the battery is new I only charge the battery for roughly 4 hours. A quick voltage check and the new battery is showing just under 14 volts which is healthy and within the normal working range for a 12 volt motor. Put the battery in its compartment and connect it up. Now for a quick test. First gear reverse and second gear. All's good and we're ready to go. If the video was useful please give it a like or consider subscribing. Thanks.